everyone, welcome back to another PS3 video. And today I will be talking about the new update of 4.89 EvilNet custom firmware. And it was pretty easy for me to update and I was very excited to update to that version because I wanted to start earning these trophies, uh, sync up my trophies onto my PS3, which was upgraded to a new hard drive of one terabyte, which is awesome. And I also had a bunch of PKGI games that was downloaded and they required licenses. So it was really nice to see all of those games work again or, well, just be able to play them right now that we have the uh, licenses. So that was pretty cool. And so it was pretty easy to update. I was currently on 4.88 EvilNet. And you must be running custom firmware in order for you to update to the new version of 4.89 EvilNet. And obviously you do have to have custom firmware. You can't update, for example, with like uh, if you have a super slim and you're on hen, you can't really use the custom firmware update. But if you are on 4.88 EvilNet like I was, it's pretty simple to do. I'll have a link in the description so you can download the custom firmware. And then from there, we can copy it over to our USB stick, which has the PS3 folder, along with the subfolder that's named UPDATE in all caps. Make sure that the custom firmware is named PS3 UPDATE, uh, which is missing the letter E dot PUP. And once that's copied all over, you can grab your USB stick and plug it into your PS3. Go to your system update and just follow the normal steps of updating your firmware. Once your system is fully updated, you can disable the syscall so you can sign into your PSN account. And from there, you'll be able to sync your trophies grab the licenses for any games that you downloaded through PKGI and have some fun with that and just make sure you're signed out and you don't auto sign in when you're using your PS3 obviously you just have to take those precautions to not get your uh, system banned or blacklisted from Sony so just be extremely careful when you're messing around with your PSN account yes so I have my trophy collection all synced up Pretty stoked about that and I can now begin to earn trophies offline and I have a bunch of games that are already downloaded through PKGI I have uh, Shadow of Colossus, Shadow of the Colossus, God of War, uh, Ghosts of Sparta, uh, Chains of Olympus, Deadpool, Dante's Inferno, Diablo 3, Bioshock 2, Alice Madness Returns, Batman Arkham Origins, and those are just some of the titles I wanted to play in the past, but I never got the chance to. And just very excited to start playing them and earn those trophies. And I got a quite a few games already uh, queued up to download. And the next one is Ratchet and Clank, A Crack in Time. I love Ratchet and Clank. It's one of my favorite series. 4.89 was released a few weeks ago, so I'm very happy that those guys were able to uh, figure that out and get it available to us. And very thankful for those developers. Thank you so much. And I hope you found this video somewhat helpful. And if you have any questions, please comment down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video in the future thank you so much for watching take care guys and i'll see you on the next one